All right, guys. So I'm just putting this in the corner so I make sure it's actually doing. Okay, so recently I um, started to make started to um. Someone had just said prefix map doesn't work anymore, so I was like, "What?" So I actually looked and saw if prefix map worked anymore, and it does. But it doesn't work the same way that it used to. Just if there's an arrow, it will do it. So if you do VCV, you will most likely have your VCV auto already set up with arrows because the smart thing to do is to separate it into separate folders and there you can just add the arrows and you can do it prefix or suffix it'd be easier to um batch do pre prefix but there's no suffix suffix broker but if you're using prefix map you get what i'm saying now i'm going to show you let's say you have a cv bank and you'd done it in Oremo, Oremo, and you just figured out, and you just figured, oh, here's the suffix thingy, I'm gonna click that, so you have it like this, and you're like, oh no, I can't use prefix map anymore, yes you can, double click the alias box, and it'll be like, subete no eli in, in, <laughs> Tori no file na wave that wave da 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 yeah whatever that says um you just press OK and see this now if you're trying if you're doing VCV doing that will just destroy you so like be like cancel but if you're doing CV and you didn't separate it by folder this is what you have to do. I think if you do it by folder and you try that, it might go horribly wrong. Okay, so now press OK. Now, one of the advantages to doing prefix, prefix map when you have them all in their separate folders is that when you're, you can go into a certain folder, click up here, and, it, and after you make the FRQs, it'll tell you the average frequency. Well, or when you're recording it, you can just say, okay, this is at G, this is at C, I'll put the, those notes at C and G and the, do that. All right. Well, I'm just going to pretend I know what will make it sound best. The best way to figure out where you're going to put the prefix map is actually testing out to see where the transitions sound the best, the most natural, like. If you have really great, and if you have like really great low files, but really me, me, medium files, you'll expand the range of the low, you know, just because it'll sound better. So let's say that the high notes start around, you know, E5. So you're probably like, oh, this will be so painful entering prefix into all those boxes. Nope. Press shift. Shift, I use the one underneath caps lock, and then press the up arrow. Whee! Then, if you have a suffix, type it in here. Seto. If you have a suffix, which will say starts around B3, arbitrarily, you put in suffix. Sta. Seto. Okay. And now. I don't actually know if it'll do this. But let's put this up here. And this down here. See? I press the make VCV button. It'll show you, and it shows you that if you put it up there, it has an uppity arrow. If you put it down here, it has a downity arrow. And that's basically prefix maps for you. Hope that helps someone out.